Uh, take a look at this. The water's right past my ankle here. We're talking about six, seven hours after this storm hit here. How deep is it? So deep you can even paddle board in these puddles. The rain coming down fast and furious. Close to five inches of rain falling in a short amount of time, causing major flooding problems. Cars here on Main Street in Orleans having a hard time getting through the standing water. Near the Orleans Brewster line in Route 6, same thing. Uh, I've never seen it like this in the last, uh, well, we've had the business for 30 years, and this is the worst I've seen it. Really? Yeah. The lightning also a big problem. This multi-million dollar home under construction here in Orleans catching fire after being struck by a bolt of lightning. An eyewitness describes the moment it happened. The last one, I think, is boom. Like explosion, something like that. Then there were the winds, gusts of up to 60 miles per hour, causing trees and power lines to come crashing down. At one point, as many as 3,300 customers were without power. Wind was pretty bad because it was like coming through the sides and stuff. Three, four lightning bolts hit massive uh, sailboats, and it was crazy. So the, just the rain just kept coming and it stopped for a little bit, and then it came back. And at last check, some 900 customers were without power. And by the way, if you're wondering why Dan here is on the paddleboard, we're outside a Nauset surf shop and they are shooting an Instagram post. We're live in Orleans, Duke Castiglione, WCVB, New Center 5. All right, Duke, thank you for that. This was just the